Ever wondered what it's like to think like a rocket scientist? In this video, we're diving into the fascinating realm of rocket science thinking, a mindset accessible to everyone. No fancy degrees or lab coats required. It's all about embracing a fresh perspective, igniting your creativity, and conquering life's most daunting challenges. Whether you're tackling problems the size of a peanut or a mountain, from personal dilemmas to complex business decisions, this mindset can transform the way you approach them. Join me on this exciting journey guided by Ozan Varal who brings hands-on experience from his work with NASA. Get ready to unlock mind-blowing insights from his book, Think Like a Rocket Scientist. Key idea number one, embrace uncertainty. We all share a common fear of the unknown. Imagine a drunk man searching for his lost keys under a street lamp. When he knows they are on the dark side of the street, he chooses the light because it's comfortable, just like we often stick with the familiar, instead of venturing into the unknown. This desire for certainty leads us to pursue seemingly safe options, even if they keep us in mediocre situations. Marketers keep using the same tricks. Aspiring entrepreneurs stay in unfulfilling jobs, and pharmaceutical companies develop mediocre drugs instead of striving for breakthroughs. But true breakthroughs happen when we sacrifice the certainty of answers and venture into the unknown. Staying in the comfort zone won't lead to innovation. To thrive in this century, we must embrace uncertainty and challenge the status quo. In school, we're misled into thinking that scientists follow a straight path to the light switch. We're handed one fixed curriculum one supposedly perfect way to study science, and one exact formula to success. But reality isn't so straightforward. Our obsession with certainty messes with our understanding of what's actually out there in the unknown. It tricks us into feeling falsely secure. But, progress, whether in rocket science or any field, occurs in dark rooms. Most of us fear the dark, but uncertainty often leads to joy, discovery, and fulfilling our potential. The first step is to confront uncertainty head-on. Instead of shying away from it, acknowledge that it's a natural part of life. Understand that you don't need to have all the answers immediately. Allow yourself to embrace the uncertainty and view it as an opportunity for growth. Secondly, it's essential to consider both worst-case and best-case scenarios. Writing down your concerns and uncertainties can be a powerful tool. By putting your fears on paper, you can gain clarity and perspective. Ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? And how likely is it? Simultaneously, ponder the best outcomes. This balanced approach will help you make informed decisions. Key idea number two, first principles thinking. People often have a strong tendency to stick with the way things are, even when change could actually bring them some great benefits. Take the keyboard layout, for example. The QWERTY layout, which you're probably using right now, was designed to be kind of inefficient. It was created because old typewriters used to jam when people type too fast. Even though better layouts exist today, QWERTY is still the standard because making a change can be quite costly. Similarly, we tend to stick to the same routines, keep using old ideas, and maintain outdated processes. Over time, these established methods become like well-traveled roads, making it really hard to change course. Sometimes, these processes that were initially helpful become obstacles. We follow them blindly, even when they don't make sense anymore. We make them the measure of our success. So, how do we break free from this cycle? Well, we can use something called first principles thinking. It's a way of breaking down a problem into its most basic parts. Instead of just accepting things the way they are, we question the very core of the issue. This fresh perspective often leads to innovative solutions. Elon Musk used this approach to change the rocket industry by challenging the high cost of rocket materials. Another thing that holds us back is these invisible rules, habits and behaviors that become unwritten constraints. We often defend these limitations, even though they might not be serving us well. To overcome them, we need to question our assumptions and ask, what if this weren't true? Now, we don't have to question everything in life but it's essential to apply first principles thinking where it matters most. This process helps us uncover those invisible rules that could be stopping us from progressing. So, here are some practical tips to help you break free from the status quo and unleash your creativity. First principles thinking. Instead of just accepting things, break them down to their basics. Ask, what's at the core of this problem? and how can I solve it better? Question your assumptions, challenge your beliefs and preconceived notions. Are they still valid, or are there better alternatives? Favor simplicity. Keep things simple and elegant in your problem-solving approach. Complexity can lead to more problems. Key idea number three, foster creativity and innovation. When we think about great minds like Albert Einstein, we often imagine them as geniuses with extraordinary knowledge. But Einstein himself believed that his gift of fantasy was more important than his ability to absorb facts. He once wondered what would happen if he chased after a beam of light. 
a thought that eventually led to his groundbreaking theory of relativity. Thinking up ideas and playing with them in their mind has been a favorite trick of smart people throughout history. People like Nikola Tesla and Leonardo da Vinci would dream up their inventions before actually making them. But why is it so cool to be curious and think up stuff in your head? Well, sometimes we're afraid to ask questions or think about new things because we like to stick with what we know. We don't want to admit we don't know something, and we're scared that we might waste our time on stuff that doesn't matter. But guess what? Curiosity and thinking up wild ideas are super important. They help us come up with new stuff and think in new ways. They're like a secret tool for making amazing things happen. In our super busy world, we try to avoid being bored. We always want to do something or have fun instead of just sitting around. But being bored can be awesome too. When we're bored, our brains start making connections between things that don't seem related at all, like apples and oranges. That's when we can be super creative. You don't have to be an expert to come up with great ideas. Sometimes, people who are new to something see things in a fresh way. It's like having a beginner's mind. And this can be a game changer when you're trying to solve problems. Having a beginner's mind means you look at problems or stuff you're working on with fresh eyes. You don't let what you already know get in the way. It's like learning something new and it helps you come up with really cool ideas. So, how can you use all this cool stuff in your own life? Here are three easy tips. Make time for dreaming. Set aside some time in your day or week to dream up new ideas. Think about what if and crazy things related to what you like. Embrace boredom. Instead of always doing something, let yourself be bored sometimes. See what creative thoughts pop into your head. Think like a beginner. When you're working on something, Try to think like you're just starting out. Don't let what you already know stop you from coming up with amazing new ideas. Key idea number four. Address the right problem. Sometimes we're in such a hurry to find solutions that we forget to think about the questions. We want quick answers and often jump to conclusions without considering other options. This fast track approach might seem efficient yet it can lead us down the wrong path. Imagine it this way. It's like putting the cart before the horse, getting to a decision before understanding the situation. This rush to solve things can trap us, preventing us from discovering better solutions that might be right in front of us. Our education system plays a part in this issue. We're taught to solve problems, not to question or reframe them. We're handed problems to solve, already defined, and our task is to apply set formulas to solve them. But in the real world, problems aren't handed to us neatly wrapped. We have to discover, define, and sometimes redefine the problems ourselves. However, our education often makes us jump straight into solving without considering if there's a better problem to tackle. Eventually, we get so focused on finding answers that we forget to check if we're even addressing the right problem. This can lead to inefficiency, and we miss out on opportunities for innovation. So, the next time you face a problem. Try a different approach. Instead of immediately trying to solve it, focus on understanding the problem better. Ask yourself if you're even asking the right question. Consider how changing your perspective might change the problem itself. Think about framing the question in terms of strategy rather than just tactics. Challenge yourself to look at the problem from a different angle. It might lead you to a more innovative solution. Key idea number five, path to success. Failure is a word that can make anyone nervous. We're often taught to avoid it at all costs. But guess what? Failure isn't your enemy. It could be your best friend on your way to success. Failure is like a natural part of the journey to success. It's not something to run away from. It's something to welcome and even cheer for. Why? Because it's a super valuable chance to learn. Think about it this way. When we're scared of failing, we usually play it super safe. We stick to what we know, avoid risks, and miss out on opportunities to get creative and grow. But guess what? Success rarely shows up when you're playing it safe. It comes when you take bold steps, try new things, and yeah, sometimes mess up. According to Elon Musk, failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. So, if you want to aim high, you got to accept that failure is just part of the journey. But here's the key. It's not about failing fast. It's about learning fast. Failure should be seen as an opportunity for growth and improvement. When things don't go as planned, don't dwell on the outcome. Focus on what you can control, the inputs. Ask yourself, what went wrong, and how can I fix it? Remember, thinking like a rocket scientist is not reserved for a select few, it's a mindset that anyone can cultivate. By embracing uncertainty and challenging your limitations, you can embark on a journey of endless discovery and achieve extraordinary results in your life. If you're looking for some bonus key ideas, exclusive content, and book summaries, you should definitely check out www.summary.quest. And if you're interested in getting your hands on this incredible book, you can just click the link in the description to buy it from Amazon.